hello and welcome to Wilcom's video short series for Embroidery Studio E4.0. Today I'm going to show you how to bring in graphics, uh, import them in, and do a really quick uh, auto conversion of them. And I'm also going to show you how that conversion is done using Corel Draw as well. Um, so we're going to get started. I'm just going to go to my file drop menu here, choose import graphic. I'm scroll down. I'm going to double click on the sailboat design, which is a BMP file. If the customer wants to know um, what uh, the finished size of the embroidery needs to be for a cap or a left chest or something like that, you want to make sure that your design on your screen is the actual finished size of the embroidery that's going to be on the garment. Because sometimes you will get designs that will be much larger, and you just want to make sure that when you convert them that they are the finished size of the embroidery it'll make it easier for you as far as being able to uh, do stitch counts and things like that uh, so with this on the screen I'm just gonna make this three inches tall 3.0 okay and so with my image selected on the screen if I navigate over to the left side of my screen you'll see the instant smart design tool okay um, and this is a very fast way to convert the graphic into an embroidery file um, don't blink your eyes because once I select this it's gonna stitch it really fast so I'm gonna left click it now and it stitches it just like this and you just want to make sure that you have your under design that you have your auto fabric assistant selected that you have your proper fabric selected that's gonna help you with your underlay stitches and things like that you will need to run uh, the stitch player to make sure that the stitching is in the correct order and it's a matter of just clicking your stitch player or pressing shift R and that went pretty fast so let me do this again I'm gonna press the D is in dog to hide the graphics in the background and I'm gonna try this again at a slower pace so here so as we go in just making sure that all the necessary underlays are there by choosing your auto fabric assistant okay and you're gonna run it just to make sure that everything is correct before you send it out to the production floor okay and so that's just something that you'll do every time uh, before you save your designs you want to run uh, this uh, stitch player to make sure that again everything is uh, doing what it's supposed to do and that was a really quick way of going in and stitching this particular design out so um, slight modifications may need to be done uh, in order to get it production ready but uh, basically this is the uh, one of the quickest way to go in and do a stitch out of the design and keep in mind also that the quality of the artwork is going to be important so the better the artwork that you have uh, the better the chance of uh, you being able to use that artwork as long as it's um, a bit simple and not very complicated not very complex and uh, and that the artwork is camera ready or you can use a vector if the customer asks what's the best type of artwork either a vector file or camera ready artwork uh, is going to be the best type of uh, graphic that you'll need uh, to get the best uh, stitch out of the design okay so we're finished with that so that is um, the instant smart design tool I'm going to click uh, the select tool here now I'm going to show you a different method I'm going to press control A to select the design and I'm going to delete it delete I'm going to press D to bring back the artwork the D has the artwork the D brings it back also okay so this time we're going to use the Corel draw method to go in and do the conversion with this actually so with our design on screen I'm just going to navigate here up to the Corel draw switch tool here and as we get this over into Corel draw uh, we will uh, break this down and convert this into a vector object before we actually do the conversion uh, back over to the embroidery side here okay so here we are we have our design on the screen um, you want to make sure that the design is selected okay you'll know that it'll be correct because you'll see the trace bitmap option here and you're gonna click the down arrow you're gonna scroll down you're gonna choose the outline trace you're going to scroll over and you're going to scroll down to the clip art. The clip art is, is the best option here because what it does for this type of artwork, it simplifies the colors 
greatly uh, to help with the thread is what it does basically so uh, for something as simple uh, we'll use the clip art uh, as, as often as possible okay you have line art that you can use for just line drawings regular logos uh, anything a detailed logo design here a low quality image would be something that if you get from the web that's 72 dpi and for a photograph we use the high quality image but for what we have on the screen here we're going to use clip art it's going to take us to our power trace mode where it shows us the beginning and the end here's the original bmp file and then here's the vector file here we have some white fill in that we need to get rid of because there's no other white fill inside the design so i'm going to navigate over and choose remove color from entire image like this and i'm going to scroll down and I'm going to click OK. The item has been transferred to a vector file now. Okay, And from here, I'm just going to navigate to this icon, which is the Convert Graphics to Embroidery. As I left click, it's going to take that image back over and it's going to stitch it out for us like this. So those are two methods that you'll use. Again, you want to make sure that, the, uh, that you have the proper underlay stitches. You want to make sure that your um, under your design menu that you have your auto fabric assistant selected making sure that you have the right fabric selected that you're going to be running with okay you want to make sure also at the end under your design drop menu you have a tool called remove small stitches this is a small stitch filter and this removes any small stitches from the design that are less than three tenths of a millimeter okay and so you want to make sure that um, that you can run that actually it can be run on the output um, or you can always run it and click OK and it will um, reduce now what happens with those uh, small stitches sometimes they can cause thread breaks and sometimes they don't cause thread breaks at all sometimes they just continue running with the design causing the design to run longer than necessary okay so that's a very important tool inside the program well that's gonna do it for this video short thank you very much and as always, we ask you to join us at www.willcomeamerica.com. Thank you.